Hello everyone, this is Mikeimus, and I am explaining a 1-bit adder, how it works. This is a full adder here. There's a half adder and a full adder um, are two different types of adder, but this is a full adder, which means that it's capable of taking in a carryover input, which is shown here, along with your typical A and B input, which are right here. Basically, the way this logic works is we have our A and B inputs right here going into an XOR gate. Basically XOR is short for exclusive OR gate. And what that means is if the inputs are equal then the output will be zero. So as you can see here we have one and one going into this XOR gate which is producing zero as signified with the black. Now by doing that we also have an AND gate connected to our A and B inputs and what that AND gate signifies is that these are both ones. So if they are both equal and high, this AND gate will produce a one. So if you have one and one, this AND gate will produce a one. And then over here is an OR gate, or just it's just a repeater, and then that's coming over and outputting to our carryover right here. Now you can't really see that this is on, but as you can see with the sprites going on it is indeed on. Now, this XOR gate, we're back here with our A and B inputs, is no longer sending an ON signal, as you can see. So this AND gate is not activated because our carryover is on, but our XOR is off. So it's a zero. But that's not really um, of importance because what's going on here is this XOR gate is also sending a zero signal to a second XOR gate. And this second XOR gate and the second AND gate is what creates the full adder. Now as you can see, this is zero here coming from our XOR gate, which is going under this bridge. And then this carryover is coming in with a one. And so now this XOR is unequal. That is, it has a one and a zero input so it's producing a one output. So what we effectively have here is one one which is three in binary and our inputs are one plus one plus one which is one one in binary and uh, or three in what we consider normal uh, numerical system. So basically that's how it works um, and in order for you to get this system to build up to my 12-bit adder which you can see over here it requires that you take this carry in which is what it's called a CN and you stack another full adder directly next to it so where I'm looking right now you have your carry out or your C out just bridge right to your CN as you can see I'll show you over here before it gets too dark. This is the same exact design. You see the AND gate, XOR gate, the repeater, and then you see that this carry out is going to my carry in, that same bridge, to the adjacent adder. And what will happen is when you use that carryover, it'll cause it to cascade across all these adders to determine your, ca uh, your carry out input. You can also use that um, to signify your largest bit, which you can see here which is 4096. So if this is lit without anything else, you will see that it 4096 and over here what I did was add 248 2048 plus 2048 which equals 4096. And that's just a quick um, explanation on how this works and I hope you guys get a lot out of it. Take care.